So we know MS is an autoimmune disorder which both in an immune response and adaptive immune response are involved in this pathology. Um, a lot of research show that uh, dysregulated T cell response are, um, are important to break the tolerance and induce the disease. What, uh, what I showed in, in my results was the excess inflammation in innate immune response also imp important to break the tolerance and, and the onset of MS. Uh, so we used the animal model. We looked at the, uh, a, mod a model that does not have the break on inflammation. So it's a, mo a, a regulatory molecule is called NLRX1. So our, our mouse model did not have that molecule. So we expect more uh, inflammation. So we, 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 when we use that, that uh, animal uh, model and uh, breed with, uh, with, the, with the mice that have increased number of T cells, we had the progeny that they were susceptible to develop the spontaneous uh, paralysis. Uh, what we found was the group that they had more inflammation in the CNS uh, in immune response and they had also uh, a lot of T cells that they, they were uh, myelin specific. They, they developed, uh, you know, half of those groups uh, developed spontaneous paralysis. But the uh, inter interesting part was the group that they did not develop a spontaneous paralysis, they had some level of uh, subclinical inflammation that we looked at the, uh, all the molecules, uh, all the um, cytokines and, and molecules by different uh, techniques, full cytometry and um, real-time PCR, we could show that they are susceptible to um, to show the, uh, the neurological signs, but at subclinical level, they had the increased inflammation. Um, so the next step, we, we also, besides inflammation, we also uh, found increased cell death and tissue damage too in, at the subclinical level. And that was interesting, which was correlated with the increased number of uh, neurotoxic loya, uh, especially the neurotoxic astrocytes. So those cells were also involved in this pathology. So the whole story, we, we built the model uh, based on these uh, results that uh, at subclinical level, as, uh, a trigger may activate uh, microglia and that those microglia induce uh, inflammation that may lead to generation of A1 astrocytes. A1 astrocytes is a toxic, they produce some um, solvent toxin that they may kill uh, oligodendrocytes and that would cause the release of myelin and that myelin in, in the periphery is, is a time that uh, activate T cells and the T cells got to get uh, differentiated to inflammatory T cells and those that may uh, come back and attack the C and it's it's a uh, that that's a stage that we call the clinical stage that we see the um, the neurological signs uh, in the in the patients or in the animals too.